past year, we've seen an alarming rise in attacks against Asian Americans. And as more people offer support for this very diverse community, we are hearing from two high-profile celebrities who have been fighting for decades for change and also more understanding. CBS 2's Cindy Hsu has their stories. In the last year, nearly 4,000 Asian hate incidents have been reported nationwide. But there's a long history of anti-Asian violence in the U.S. I spoke to Tony Award-winning playwright David Henry Huang, who was stabbed in the neck in Brooklyn five years ago, walking home from the grocery store. It turned out that the attacker had severed my vertebral artery. I'd lost about a third of my blood, but I was out of the hospital in three or four days. So I was, you know, a lot more fortunate than many attack victims. The attacker was never caught. Do you believe this was a hate crime? Um, I do, and I think I've come to feel more comfortable with saying that over the years. At the time uh, that it happened, uh, the NYPD didn't classify it as a hate crime. The attack was the genesis of Huang's latest musical, Soft Power, which was nominated for a Pulitzer Prize, as were two other works, Yellow Face and M. Butterfly. He has spent 40 years writing plays, largely about Asian American stories. He believes political rhetoric unleashed the violence we're seeing now. A lot of this uh, was exacerbated by the former president who used terms like China virus and Kung flu. Actor George Takei, who played Mr. Sulu on Star Trek, felt the target on his back at five years old, right after the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor in 1941. He was born and raised in California, but was rounded up with more than 100,000 people of Japanese ancestry, then thrown into internment camps. Soldiers came up, stomped up the front porch with their fists banged on the door, and literally at gunpoint, with bayonets on them, they ordered us out of our home. Takei says the experience turned him into an activist. He starred in the Broadway musical Allegiance, inspired by Takei's personal stories while in the internment camp. He recently published the graphic novel, They Called Us Enemy, which received an American Book Award last year. But he points to the iconic series Star Trek, which started in 1966 as a show we could learn from now, especially looking back at the themes of inclusion and acceptance it celebrated more than 50 years ago. The uh, acronym was, was IDIC, I-D-I-C. Infinite diversity in infinite combinations. Something we need more of today. Cindy Shu, CBS2 News.